Hello everyone, Lawrence here at Happy Bike Days with the Mustache Game 7, a French Enduro e-bike and it actually has 160 mils in the rear, 170 in the front. It's got the brand new sort of Bosch um, smart um, e-bike system with basically is just a bunch of buttons and a display which you'll probably knock off the first time you crash it but hey it looks good while you still have it uh, removable battery always a nice fox 38 in the front feeling nice and supple as you can see these are not top of the line spec choices on this bike because this is a mid of the range you have the five you have the 7, the 9, and there's even an 11 if you really want that sort of high-end stuff. Uh, I would really love to see a version of this with like a double crown fork and maybe like 170, 180 mils of travel in the rear. But for now, this is what we have here. Also, I don't know if you can really catch it in the video earlier, but it has this really weird cable routing that goes from the top tube into the seat tube. Very weird looking, but it wasn't annoying in any sort of way. As I said, this motor gets you to the top of the hill very quickly and so you can do a lot of descending and that's where this bike is just so lovely because it's quite heavy. I mean, they claim 24.4 kilograms, but they don't say what size that is uh, and whether or not that is with or without pedals. So um, I think this is like 26 kilograms, maybe 27. Um, but you get up the hill pretty quickly and you can go down it even more quickly uh, because it's so heavy. As with most full suspension e-bikes, they feel really plush. Now, even though it is an e-bike, it wasn't as plush as the uh, Cannondale Jekyll that I also rode that day. Um, maybe because it's a more conventional suspension design, but the bike does feel quite responsive, quite stiff. It's not the most progressive, most sort of pushing the boundary sort of geometry on this bike. And you can probably look up all the numbers for it if you really want to know more detail i only had this bike for i'd say 30 maybe 35 minutes in which i had to do a lot of testing uh and a lot of riding and all the filming in in like half an hour so i can't really give you a full detailed review on this bike yet if you want to see such a video just let me know in the comments and i'll forward that right to the pr department for uh, mustache bikes and I'll say something silly like, excuse me, I must ask you a question. Can I borrow this bike for full review? Something silly like that. Uh, but anyway, um, heading down the hill, it's really hard to say on terrain this loose. And I couldn't really get really fast sort of chattery rides in. Um, but I felt right at home. I'd say other than maybe that rock machine hardtail, which was fun because it was... I mean, hardtails are quite bad at going down a hill. Um, but that one was fun because it was quite bad. This one was fun because it was fun. Um, I would love to have a bike like this if I'm going to trail centers without an uplift service uh, where I can just put it into a slightly lower gear than what I'm in right now. And you can hear this motor kick in right about now, but I cut the video. Uh, but you can then get to the top of the hill a lot faster and the suspension is quite plush if you sort of hit the, the landing zone with this one. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it but I can't keep talking without actually doing more testing. I can't compare it really to any other bike because none of the bikes I rode had their cockpit set up properly, tire pressures or suspension pressures set up properly. So I'm just going to shut up and show you guys some more riding footage, some very questionable riding footage. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Again, comment if you want to see a full review on this bike. I'll try to make it happen. And um, subscribe if you want to see it. Also, if you want to see more Happy Bike Days content, check out the channel. It's probably up there. If not, you know, I'll upload it in a few days. Cheers.